Celebrating 60 years of broadcasting here at CTV Barry has been a real treat this week and we have millions of reasons to celebrate this next story. We have helped raise tens of millions of dollars in cash and donations for local charities over the years through all kinds of appeals including telethons. Our station helped pioneer those fundraising broadcasts. They were massive undertakings with big stars and huge goals. We'll start in 1974 with rare footage from a 30-hour live telethon we produced here, one that helped change the way we give back to the communities we serve. Now it's pulling into the CKVR parking lot. It was an unusual sight. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to land for a couple of minutes and see what's going on. A train rolling around on the streets back in 1974, spreading the word about a huge effort to help the community. But a train on Highway 27 is a bit much. What, what's going on? Well, this is for the telethon, the uh, appeal for the uh, hospital. Cool. The Whipper Watson appeal? Right. And when does it start? Right now. now. Right now, let's go. Ladies the Whipper Watson appeal was a 30-hour live telethon on CKVR. The brainchild of Whipper Billy Watson, a former pro wrestler and longtime champion for children with disabilities. Whipper Billy Watson, $25,000 of pledges from the staff. How about that? The goal of this telethon was to build a therapeutic swimming pool for children at a local hospital. Thousands of people spent months planning the broadcast. Tommy Hunter was just showing me a real dandy. Tommy, go get him, kids. It's <laughs> a dilly. I think this is probably left over. From when Our Bob McIntyre was there that day, sharing in the hosting duties. Back in those days, this was how charities reached a large audience for an appeal. They were star-studded extravaganzas. I would have given you all of my heart But there's someone who's torn it apart And she's taken almost all that I've got But if you want, I'll try to love again this one included big-name guests like the pop band Lighthouse performing its hit songs. All of it live in our studios. At the time, it was the biggest entertainment event ever held at our station. The money started pouring in, literally cash and checks into a barrel and pledges large and small by telephone. There is an interesting pledge, $1.17 from an inmate in the Berry Jail. It was a huge success. There it is. We're all the way. And the money just kept rolling in. As a matter of fact, so much coinage came in that when we finished the telethon, they backed up a police car to the back door and we literally shoveled the money into the trunk. The car was actually riding on an angle as it left. The telethon far exceeded its $250,000 goal, and the hospital ended up naming the pool after Whipper Watson. It was decided and voted that the pool be designated as the Whipper Billy Watson Therapeutic Pool. Our studios would also host telethons for several other organizations. This one in the late 70s was for the Ontario Federation for Cerebral Palsy. There's Bob again hosting. Welcome to CKVR's 1991 Superthon for Easter Seals. Easter Seals would be a prominent telethon through the 80s and 90s with our Superthons. People like Amanda, Michael, the rest of the kids. This is a marvelous thing for you to do, to try and make a dream come true for a kid. They too had star appeal, like this visit by hockey legend Bobby Orr. This is double trouble right here, let me tell you. The Lucy Seal Society is a wonderful organization. Even when telethons became a thing of the past, community fundraising didn't. In more recent years, our Christmas toy drive has been a staple, bringing in thousands of toys for children served by the Children's Aid Society of Simcoe County. It's amazing how much this community comes together and really does support us. And we've been a big supporter of Bell's Let's Talk campaign which began five years ago to raise money for mental health initiatives and to reduce the stigma surrounding them by making it a part of the national conversation. Through the years, the show formats have changed, but the goals haven't, using the power of our airwaves to give back to the community in times of need. And wow. guess what? 
some good memories there. We will continue yeah. that giving tomorrow because we're going to broadcast our six o'clock show, as you know, live from the Kiwanis Pavilion near the South Shore Center in Barrie. And we want you to join us there and bring along two dollars for a hot dog and a drink. We'll be donating all of the proceeds to the Berry Food Bank. Bring a chair and layer up as well. It will be a brisk evening. And a reminder to visit our website to see all kinds of historic photos and video greetings from past employees. It's all on the 60th anniversary section of our website at barry.ctvnews.ca.